Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today I'm going to help you write equations of circles when given certain information. Uh, so let's take a look at an example. So this first example here, uh, we want to write the equation in standard form for the circle passing through the point 1, 3 with its center at 1, negative 1. Now, what should jump off the page at you here is we are not given the radius or the diameter. So we are missing some information that we're going to have to figure out in order to write the equation of the circle. We've got the center, so that part's easy. In fact, if you want to go ahead and just start writing your answer, you know that it's going to look something like this. So the h value is positive 1, so that's going to be x minus 1, and the k value is negative 1, so that'll be y minus negative 1, which is y plus 1. So it's going to look something like that. But then we need the radius squared over here. So how are we going to calculate the radius? Well, this information is going to help us. So if it passes through, the circle passes through the point 1, 3, and the center as at the point 1, negative 1, the distance from the center to any point on the circle is the radius. So the distance from center, this point, to this point, which is on the circle, must be the radius. Now, the way we're going to figure out what that radius is, is we could use the distance formula. Um, but in a lot of cases, or in some cases I should say, we won't have to use the distance formula. And this is an example where you can actually avoid having to use the distance formula and do some simple counting if you can just visualize or even do a very rough sketch as I'm doing here of what's happening. So my center is at 1, negative 1, which is right there, and it passes through the point 1, 3. So that is the length of my radius right, because this is the center and this is a point on the circle. And so how far is it from here to here? Well, if you just look at the coordinates, this is at negative 1 and this is at 3, we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, the difference between 3 and negative 1. Um, and the reason that's so easy to do in this particular example is because the x values are the same, so it's straight up and down. Similarly, if the two y values were the same, you'd, you'd get a, a horizontal line, which you could easily count. Um, so for this particular case, we can see that the radius is 4, so the equation is going to be the radius squared here at the end, so that would be our equation. Now let's take a look at another example. So here's an example, similar kind of problem, but in this case, we can't do our little counting trick. Uh, if you notice, if we were to do a little rough sketch off to the side, uh, I'd see the center is at 1, negative 2, which is down here somewhere, and um, center, sorry, the center is at 1, negative 2, and it passes through the point 5, 1. And so, um, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Uh, so the center is at 5, sorry, it centers here. <laughs> Circle passes through this point. Okay, I'm back. Uh, and so that right there would be our radius, which is not something we can count. So in this case, we could just use the distance formula and find the distance between those. And so the distance formula is the square root of the difference between the x values, which is 5 minus 1, and the difference between the y values, which is 1 minus negative 2, which is 1 plus 2. And if we simplify that, we get 4 squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 16 plus 9, which is 25. And so that's 5. So a distance between those two points is 5, which means that our radius is 5. And so now we've got our center, we've got our radius, so we've got our equation x minus 1, because our h is positive 1, squared, y plus 2, because our k is negative 2, and radius squared is 25, and there's our equation. That's all for now. Thanks.